Hello fellow colorists, welcome to the channel. Today is Thanksgiving here in Canada. It's Sunday, October the 8th. I'm so happy to have you here today. I am actually pre-recording this obviously as I am hopefully uh, enjoying a turkey dinner right now with my family. Uh, so here is another one of my pumpkins. This is a sugar pumpkin and it is great for pie, scones, baking, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna set him here. In today's video, we are going to take a look back at my altered pages. I am trying to do an altered page every month or every other month. And an altered page to me is where I am adding something to the page that is altering the way it um, was normally intended to be colored, or I'm drawing onto the page, uh, something like that. So it's not just one of my uh, backgrounds because quite frankly, I do backgrounds on most of my pages. But i give you an example of an altered page is here in Flowerscape, uh, a botanical coloring book by Maggie Interos. I have done the twin flower. And yes, there's a background and stuff, but what I actually have done is I added a bottle sticker and made it into a vase. So I've altered the page. So instead of just having a single little flower all alone on this page, I actually changed what the pages have looked like, and it has a uh, now a vase. So that's what I mean by an altered page. So I thought I'd go and um, while I was trying to think about what my next alter page was, I was looking back at the alter pages that I have done, and I thought it would be fun just to share them with you today. So a little bit of a relaxing video, uh, no coloring today, just to look back at uh, some of the ideas that I have done and maybe it will spark some new ideas. Now, the book that I just had, Flowerscape, is the only non-Johanna Basford book in my Altered Pages uh, portfolio. For some reason, uh, Johanna's books just lead me to want to alter the pages. It's not that I don't like her style of uh, uh, illustration, it just, I don't typically like doing wallpaper pages and she always has quite a few of those. So let's take a look at the altered pages I've done in the World of Wonders. And we'll start off with this page, which was just a house on top of a horse and I turned it into a carousel. So I added a base, I added the carousel pole and then I added some balloons and some stars and stuff, trying to make it look like um, a carnival. So this is what I would consider an altered page because it did change the whole look and what this uh, picture originally was. This was also a buddy color with Cindy Visor, and she also did a similar uh, idea and made hers into a carousel as well. So that is the first one. Another, now this is an example of what I'm not calling an altered page. So this is a video on my channel and this was me recovering a, a damaged page. Um, so I did not actually add anything but the background and the stars and moon. So this I would consider to be a my normal background, um, not an altered page. So this is from a recent July video and this was for coloring roulette. And I will show you a picture of how this page looked beforehand here. And as you can see, I added uh, one, this whole page is done in, in gouache, uh, which is fine, but I added all of the mountains in this series. And that's because the um, challenge for the coloring roulette challenge said that I had to have mountains in my picture and I didn't have a page with mountains so I drew them in and I added some sand and grit down here so uh, yeah so totally changed the way this picture originally looked and those are the altered pages from worlds of wonder St sticking with world books we'll go to Johanna Basford's world of flowers and this one is altered and I'm going to have to actually, I always remove my pages when I'm coloring and the downside of that is sometimes I flip the page 
upside down. And this was a wreath with flowers on it. And so you couldn't really tell the uh, right, you know, the upside from the downside. Um, so I ended up, I used a stencil and I put in some trees and some foliage and some uh, ground cover down here. So I added that to the page. Um, and then when I went to put it back in the book, um, I realized that I actually had it upside down. So uh, this isn't part of the altered part. We'll just pretend that it just looks like this. But that is one thing. If you, um, it was just a rather plain uh, picture, just some twigs and some flowers on it. And so I really changed the look of uh, what this page looks like. And there's a little bit of glitz on there. So we'll just stick that back in the book. Okay, this next altar page should be a video on the channel. And besides having a limited coloring palette, I just couldn't take any more of the mandala. And I um, drew a sun and it's quite textured and stuff. It's got uh, paint on it, um, a couple of layers of ac acrylic paint and gouache, and then some stippled gold on top. So that's one way to get a round of completing a mandala. This is another page that's drastically changed and it's quite reflective so I apologize for that. But uh, it was a full wallpaper page and what I did is draw, drew uh, various size circles all around the page and then uh, gold paint. So this is the treasure art gold. So it's quite shiny, uh, two coats and that's all it took. And then I didn't like how, um, I wanted to add a little bit more interest. So to each, around each edge of the circle, I added different designs with a uh, small micron type pen. And each of the, uh, Cutout areas are also obviously colored. So yeah, so that uh, saved me quite a bit of time of doing the entire page of little itty bitty flowers. And I like how that turned out. This I'm not really sure if I should be calling it an altered page or not. I turned it into stained glass and uh, there is a video on the channel of me doing that. I like this one the best. Out of this one, I just, the stones are a little bit different here and the color is not exactly what I was going for, but I did like this one. This is just background. So uh, these were four bugs and I tried to make it look like they were in some wood in holes. I'm not really sure that uh, that totally came out though. And this was from uh, January, 2022. So quite a while ago now. And those are the only ones in this. Yes. Let me go to the next book. Okay, our next book is Joanna Basford's Magical Jungle. And I've got two in this. And this is similar to the last one that I did. Um, I It was a full page of wallpaper foliage again. This time I used green gouache on to cover it up. And then... Um, sponged on treasure gold paint. Each uh, area is uh, colored. And then I went and added some birds into a few of the areas. And the hidden gecko, which was part of the book already, was down here and I just wanted to bring him back to the page. So I added him back there. And this time I was okay with how the circles looked. Um, I didn't add extra on top of them, but I really like how this turned out. And I like the added birds. They kind of uh, add a little bit of something. So this page looks very different from the original, which is here. Okay, this was a recent one. And this is also on my channel. This was another mandala, which I'm not super fond of. So I thought... Uh, my one of my favorite Disney characters is Winnie the Pooh. So I drew Winnie the Pooh. 
I used a bunch of uh, gouache paint and then this is metallic acrylic paint and then um, I finished him off. So here is a picture of how this was before the alteration. And I think the picture of Pooh is uh, super cute and I like it better than the original. Okay, next we have one or two in Lost Ocean. And then I also have the Lost Ocean Artist Edition and I did a page in that. So uh, this page was uh, on my channel and it was a challenge for people to do a puzzle piece. So I took some actual puzzle pieces and uh, blew them up, uh, enlarged them on the photocopier and then I traced them onto here. And then I used a variety of rainbow colored gelatos to uh, change it. And then these are uh, our text paint pens. So that was a fun and easy one to do. And that got rid of doing a ton of all of these itty bitty shells. I did highlight a few uh, little shells here and there by using some metallic gel pen. But otherwise, uh, we just concentrated on uh, blending the background and doing the puzzle pieces. The other one is also on the channel and I have a playlist of the altered pages. So if you're looking for these to see uh, how exactly they were done step by step, you're uh, more than welcome to go check out that playlist. This is, I had the fish jumping into a bottle that was floating in the ocean. I added the birds in the sky and the waves, obviously. So this is what the page looked like on the, so it was basically just a blank page with uh, fish floating on in the middle of the page. And I changed it to be a different scene altogether. And I really like how that turned out. And this was the first time, uh, I believe, that I was using a bottle sticker. Okay. That is the two in here. The last book is, there's also a video on the channel, and that is my uh, Lost Ocean in Artist Edition format, and it's just this huge fish. And why I'm including this is because I added a bunch of extra little fish and uh, waves and stuff to the background. So I added fish that I mean, he was just a big fish all on his own. There's, he needs a school. He needs his little posse. So there we are. There is that fish. And again, there is both a short and a long, uh, a short video and a long form video on the channel for this guy. So with all of those, now it's time to think about what I should do next. So if you have any great ideas of how you would like me to how you would like me to alter a page or something that you would like seen done that you've maybe thought about but um, didn't know how to tackle it, leave a comment below because I would love to uh, try out something new. I was thinking about a checkerboard page um, or try to make something look 3D. So um, if you're interested in that, let me know. I hope you're having a relaxing day. I hope you're doing something colorful and creative this week. And until our next video, Take care. Have fun. Happy Thanksgiving.